morning everyone. Raisa and I made it to Kurashiki here in Okayama. And this place is known for its historic district and denim. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cup my tea I can take what I need. So we settled on a bakery And this one, I think it's chocolate flavor um, And it has a happy face on it, so cute This is a pangasal Why doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am old again? Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong Now Raisa and I are in this place called the Ohashi House um, and basically it's a family here that they've been in Kurashiki for a really really long time and they've decided to open their house and restore it and show tourists how it was like for old families to live in this city. It's only 550 yen so I think it's a really good bargain for just like walking around and really feeling the atmosphere in this town so, so. Japanese, but you'd put the uh, pot here so that you can do tea ceremonies oh yeah so they would have like the whole oh my god not you prying it open oh yeah, yeah, yeah see. oh see 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 put the big like ceramic not ceramic like big metal like pot of water on top here so there's hot water but you can make the ocha here and then everybody's like watching you here you know? So Raisa and I just finished going to the Ohara Museum, the Ohara Art Museum. Um, we weren't allowed to take pictures inside. I really liked it. It featured a lot of Western art or like Western style art and a few Monet paintings as well. You get your money's worth. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, for like 1,500. And now we're just walking around before lunchtime. So this is actually blueberry flavored, but they call it denim ice cream because it's just as blue as the denim that they make here. So let's try it out. I think she gave me the Ramune flavor. Oh, she did? Maybe. Doesn't taste like blueberry, but um, tastes like Ramune. It's good. I mean, it's a lot though <laughs> for what it is. Um, would I recommend you to get it? Maybe if you really like ramune and it's really hot today, so I guess it's okay. Raisa and I are now at the station where we'll take the train going to Uno Port, which is probably the nearest contact point to Naoshima. Time just seems to go by a lot slower here. The silver lining to all of this is that where we're staying, um, walking distance from it is a really nice hot spring. So I'm so excited for that.
also a good thing I'm not lactose intolerant, but I actually am. Yeah. <laughs> just finished and we feel so fresh i think we're gonna have an early dinner because we did use the night bus so we want to rest up as much as we can tomorrow's going to be a another very long day <laughs> Vanessa private place. I see. So if you are their guest in their hotel, you can bring it over. Uh, they're preparing some free shuttle bus. Ah, okay. free shuttle bus over there. Every 30 minutes they're going in and out. Then you have to see the pedestrian over there, cross it over, mm -hmm. continue walking, and you can see beside the street the uh, rental cycle. Don't hesitate to uh, call us. Okay. And we will solve your problem. Okay. okay thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. or something. So we just finished our whole first day here in Naoshima. We still have tomorrow until about tomorrow lunchtime. And as we got here, it wasn't too far from the station, from the port actually, called Uno Port. It's about 10 to 15 minutes by boat and not expensive at all to get to. But the minute you get here, it's... I feel like important to rent a bicycle. If you don't have a bicycle, you're going to have to depend on buses and they can get quite crowded. So if you know how to bike, I think this would be the best option for you. It's also not very expensive. It's about a thousand yen, but that's for the whole day or about seven to eight hours, which is I think enough time for you to like go around the island. Make sure that you research in advance, which cafes or museums or restaurants you want to go to because not all of them will be open. So the first museum we went to was called the Chichu Museum and that's one of the most popular museums on the island you have to reserve in advance. And when you get to the museum, there are only four main pieces of artwork and for a lot of them you might need to line up because it is quite popular. Unfortunately, a lot of the museums don't allow filming inside. I'll leave our entire itinerary in the comment section down below. I don't really see too many people talk about their actual experience coming to Naoshima, so I want to be as helpful and as thorough sharing my experience. Um, we tried to go to some art house projects. So art house projects is kind of like a collection of mini exhibits throughout the farther side of the island. I'm really happy that we're gonna spend more time tomorrow. We're gonna go to the last two museums that we haven't been to. Anyway, that's just a little update. We're just waiting for the sun to go down a bit or maybe to get a little cooler and then we're gonna head to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> 